Hi and welcome to 60 Seconds of Tableau. We're going to look at combining multiple workbooks, relating two data sources and adding images to a table. You'll recognise this table from episode 5. I'm going to show you how to create this new column flag. On the left is where we left off from episode 5. On the right is a workbook that has every country's flag. I want these flags in a new column of my population table. But first we need to create a new column just like we did in episode 5. Drag colour to the very left of the columns area and now drag figures after it. So we've got two new columns and we need to make them into one. Let's right click figures and choose dual axis. Now select our new colour field from the marks box and Tableau tries to be helpful by putting measure names here but let's get rid of it. Same as episode 5, make colour a blank Gantz box. Just as a quick tip, if you make the size as big as possible, it'll blank out the whole cell. Select your new figure field from the marks box. Again, let's get rid of measure names. To make this field show images, we need to use shapes. You can see episode 3 for exactly how to do this. If I drag my country name onto shapes, I could now map my countries to their flags. But this would take ages, and I already have the countries mapped in this other workbook over here. So this is how you combine those workbooks. Right click and copy the sheet you want to move. Go to the workbook you wish to paste it in and paste it there. And when you move a sheet to a new workbook, it takes its data source with it. By default, it won't interact with existing data sources. Let's use the data source country list as it has the completed flag mapping. First, we need to go to data and edit relationships. If the data sources have columns of the same name, it'll automatically match them. But we need to do a custom relationship and add the columns that we wish to join the two data sources together with. Click OK. Now, if you go to the country list data source and find the field that is mapped to the flags, you'll note the red chain icon indicating that this is the field that is linking the two data sources. Replace the country names field with the mapped field. And there you go, I've now got the flags in there. You can use the size to make the flags the correct size. Slightly too big, make it slightly smaller. That's perfect. There you go, try it for yourself. Thanks for watching 60 Seconds of Tableau.